Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, just doing another video on the same herb that um, I just did one on. But this time, the bone can be used for um, it can be used for uh, lowering your blood pressure. And um, you know that um, those are one of the things that I uh, dealt with. So um, I like drinking tea and all my other things. So that I was drinking my uh, my tea. And I just wanted to share with you guys what I was drinking. And that is linen balm. And um, you also can add, uh, like, when my cycle is on, I add the Vitex with that and some other herbs. Um, so, but it, it, it's very calming. It helps with anxiety. It helps with the, the, the depression. Um, so, if you're suffering from any of those things, the high blood pressure, it help lower it, as well as help lower the cholesterol as well. So, a lemon balm has many, um, many health benefits. It's just, like I said, um, uh, we have to learn, like, um, the, uh, uh, salt and metal. Salt and metal is nothing but that, um, that's the tree that, uh, well, it's not a tree, it's like a flower. Sometimes we have it in our home, or we have it in our yard and it fans out like a fan, like little fans that we have on have on our wall, like this, and it fans out. And it has like little, like little nuts or something coming off of them. Those are nothing but, I wish I uh, had, uh, where I can insert that picture. Um, but a lot of things I'm, I'm learning, and it just be like, man, you think all these things and all these trees that you have or you see at Lowe's or whatever, and sometimes you may just drive by a yard that's like, man, they have so many different flowers, but that's a herbalist, that's a person that knows what each of those herbs in that yard is used for. Sometimes that person may be a person that is selling those herbs, drying them and selling them to people that need them. Um, I'm just, it's just like when I'm riding along and I, I find something that I need or um, I just bring something to you guys the other day. Uh, I forgot, but it looks like little, um, it looks like little berries, uh, grapes. And it's nothing else. What the heck did that just bring to you guys? Um, no, no. I gotta remember what that was. No, that that's not the one that I brought to you guys. But anyhow, they look like little grapes. And uh, you know, you, you just look at things and be like, oh, that's a weed. Or you know, or, uh, why they don't clean that up? You know, or whatever the case may be. But a lot of things are so. The, all those things in our yard is our health remedy. Every last thing is like, like I said, we just don't know what it is. But um, as soon as I get time, I'm going to um, go in a neighborhood or just stop in a couple of areas and just show you guys some of the things that we're cutting down that we need. And we'll be saying, oh, it's a weed, but it's not a weed. It's a medicine for your body. Um, some things, like I said, I always say that, you know, as a child, you know, but I make fun of that, but as a child, so many things that you play with, ate as a child, those things are something that God allowed you to eat because your body needed it. And, um, for so many things that we ate as a child, like the elderberries, you know, the elderberries, I showed you guys with the elderberries, we used to pick those as a child and eat them. You know, but just not knowing that it was a cough medicine, but it was just something that God allowed us to touch that we may have needed at that time. So um, it's, it's just so amazing how things come back around. And, 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 and just, it's just so awesome how God is and just how how people, just like 
not saying that we're animals at all. Um, how he put things in us that we will touch or we would eat it and like, oh, let me try it. And he's like, oh, let me just try this and, you know, just stand by and watch in case something happens. But no, it's just something in, in us that God is still in us that just like a medicine woman, you know, in a country that don't have doctors. They know how to go in the forest and whatnot and, and get the things that they need. We just have it in city lives and don't realize the things that's out there in the world. And they're cutting down so many of our trees to put up this windmill of uh, stuff that's coming. Um, that's just so ridiculous to me because our air is getting more and more thicker. But out the trees, do you know the higher the trees, the thinner the air will be? The lower the trees, the thicker the air is because the trees are our filters. You put flowers in your house, all out through your, your house, your house will smell fresh and the air will be so much cleaner in your house. They are, they are actually like a natural air purifier for your house. And so are all the flowers and the trees that are outside. They, they catch all the pollen so we don't have so much respiratory problem. So while they're cutting down all these trees in the forest and this and that and our homes and trying to save on insurance money, but they want you to pay all this money throughout the year when the storm season comes, they want you to suggest you tear down what's going to help purify the air around you. And that's just so crazy to me. I mean, sometimes things, you know, you don't become aware of certain things into how you say um, it's important to you. Um, once it become important to you, that's when you will pay attention. Man, we need those trees, and we do. Um, some people, you know, you may not be paying attention and not realizing that if they cut down all those trees, every last single tree, they cut it down. If the sun is already getting closer to the earth as it is. Um, but you cut down all those trees, as you can see, um, it's the sun been out for years and years and years, but with the trees still being there, you still have a cool breeze. You can, you can get shelter from the tree and then the air was much you know thinner um but since you know they've been cutting down the trees since like what they started like 2013 or 15 or something they started really just cutting down the trees in the united states um that i've been noticing so i mean we need our trees and we need all I mean, just go in your yard. Get, start getting some books. Start getting some books. I'm trying to let me bong in here. Um, start getting some books on um leaves and um different things and herbs and stuff, so you can recognize what's in your yard before you go and cut it down, and then you can freeze it. Um, like they used. To they used to have that fruit dryer. Get your fruit dryer. Or if you don't want to get a fruit dryer, just tie it up with the um it's it's so inexpensive. The little twine, um, and just hang it up maybe in your washroom or wherever you make and hang it up and just let it dry. Uh, you can put it in your oven for twenty to fifteen minutes and let it dry. But um yes, I, I'm just so excited about just the things that we all have. Um, I'm sorry, I've been chewing on this song since my last video. Um, things that just we just take it for granted, thinking it's just a weed, but it's your medicine. Really, it is. Um, lemon bong grows in your yard. You you probably didn't cut it down, but a lot of elements, if you knew what it was, you can help save yourself a lot of money and go in your house and make it whatever it is you need for yourself. But I didn't know. I'm just learning because, like I said, in 2016, that's when my body just really just hit. So I, you know, a, a very just 
well, really 2014 when I started getting so stressed out on my job. So, um, yeah. So, like I said on my other video, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. I like that saying uh, by Kevin Hall. You're going to learn today. Yes, you're going to learn today. <laughs> we all going to learn something new today. Amen. So, uh, yes, but uh, living in bond, um, it would it, it, it um, it's a component with an accident, anti adoption properties. Um, like I said, it treats uh, with insomnia, cold sores, high cholesterol, genital herpes, indigestion, and heartburn. Um, you can you can get the um the essential oil as well. Um, you can use it like I'm using it, um, the herbal for like a tea. Um, or you can get the fresh lemon balm and do the same thing um, I'm doing. It treats anxiety, stress, um, lower blood pressure. Um, it, it has longevity properties. Um, it helps with cold and flu. Um, it's just an excellent herb, and it has a, a lot of things that you may be taking. You know, I would take drink the tea or ingest essential oil, um, or make your own tonic, um, in crock pot, and. It treats a whole variety of things that I don't know that's going on in my body versus taking a pill that's going to cause something else. Then I got to take another pill to go with this pill to treat this new symptom that I have. So why not take use one herb, this one herb, to treat a variety of things that I don't know that's going on? It's just like when you go to the doctor's office, the doctor will be like, oh, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Do you have any questions? And if you don't say, well, is there anything else that you see going on in my body that, you know, maybe I'm not asking you about or maybe I don't know about? And if you don't say, you won't know. But just ingest and tease and um, I'm going to invest in uh, my mind just be so much. It just be so, I'm just so fascinated with what God it's just, it's just opening my eyes to so much that we have taken advantage of and just ran over. Because we want such a pretty yard. We want such a landscape yard. But if you only knew this is what the pharmacists use your yard. That's why they got so many landscapes that's growing up. And you see some people used to harvest these things. Now they harvest the stuff like... Um, in the forest, man, and stuff like that. But man, our yard is such, it's your own garden. You know, each place you go, I mean, I wouldn't try to like pick stuff like in the city because you know, the city be spraying in the ditches and different places. So they be spraying some, some cities like in Alabama, they don't do it here in Louisiana. But some places there, like if you call them out, they'll come to your yard for pests and stuff. So some people treat their yard for pests. So I don't recommend that you use um, the herbs in your yard if you treat in your yard because, I, like I said, you don't know what pesticides they're using and it can be harmful to you. So, but like if you can go in the country, you know that the city is not touching these herbs and why not? To me, that's the best way to get your herbs. Or like I said, uh, artists from my rose so far, that's the only one that I have tried and I heard. I tried those two. Um, I want to venture off and try, I think, straws or something like that. I want to try that, that company. But just to have something, like I said, that's going to treat a whole variety of ailments in your body. And with you eating clean and eating the right foods. Can't you picture, can't you see the big picture that I'm painting for you that can happen to you if you just leave all the man-made stuff? I know it's hard because like I said on one of my videos, I ate bacon. And bacon didn't used to be bad for you, but it's just 
whatever they do to preserve bacon. Because you go back, you can go to people that have, that don't, that their civilization has stopped. Well, they haven't caught up to 2018, they probably were still back in the 60s and 50s or whatever. You want to call it, they probably were just one. But they're more healthier than us because we have wiring, we have all this radiation running in our house, and this is just some of the number of things. But those who are going to be more healthy because they're not bringing all this new technology with letting all the radiation. This is why we have so many mental problems because. All the frequencies that's running around in our house that we can't see. You got it from your laptop, your TV, your phones, your, your microwave. All this just messing with your brain. Your power lines and all this new stuff that they're coming up with. But it's about a dollar. And if they, they, they're not going to tell you about it because, hey, it's about a dollar. Most people that have money that knows what these these um, things are going to do. They usually have a specific room set away for that they go into that they're going to use these things. They don't usually have it all out through their house. Um, especially when you know what um, all these things produce. Like, I got my cell phone here, I got my iPad, I have my laptop on, my TV, my microwave. So it's, I mean, so it's just a lot that just goes on that could, could possibly cause so many much, so much of your mental stress and this and that and other. But you go back in the day, we didn't have so much stress. We didn't have so much mental problems and um, anxiety and depression. So. Yes, I know I, I went on and went on. It's supposed to be about lemon balm, but it's going to be slash ball, ball and about lemon balm tea. So um, I hope you guys found this informative and I hope you learned something today. Okay. Um, but I'm just so excited about what God is showing me and help me to realize that, you know, it's not about that carefree life. It's about getting to know him, appreciating the outside, because like this house, when we move in this house, this house is like life. It's like it's done. And when you move into a house, it's like you give that house life because you are life. And my life is living as cleaning things up and get things pure and stuff so the house is starting to have life but when you putting things inside the house the house is going to start to die because you're not taking care of it this net is falling apart that's the same thing when you're putting things inside the body it's going to attack the different organs and it's going to start shutting down so you know, it's, it's just so awesome. I, I can go on and on and on, but I'm I'm excited, and I hope you guys get on board and get excited too. About you know, just starting to live again and enjoy what God has for you. I mean, um, it's just so awesome to me, and I just wanted to just come and share it with you guys and things that. I just didn't know, and still a lot more that I have to know and explore out there. You know, the sun is good for your skin. You get that that good vitamin D from God. You know, that gonna help with a lot of your ailments if you can get outside and endure. Some of the sun will help you um, with some of the ailments because the, the sun, like when you put a garment outside, um, especially like a white garment. And you put it outside, and the sun is gonna brighten it. So just imagine if you get out in the sun for a while, it's gonna start by helping eliminate all these toxins and different things that are in your body, and it's gonna help, you know, purify you again because that's what we used to do as a child. We used to get outside and run and play and, and touch different things to get to know the ground, the dirt, and you know, 
in a city, you know, that kind of be hard because, you know, some, the grounds are starting to be toxic with people throwing trash out and different things. So, but yeah, just get, get away in the country if you have somebody that stays in the country or whatever and just, you know, start looking at nature and not so much as, um, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to live, what to do. I'm not trying to throw anything on anybody. So let's make that clear. That's just me talking to you about what I'm experiencing. Um, but just, you know, I have always told my kids, and I, I, I have to keep saying this because what are your goals? If you keep pouring money into other people's goals, when, I mean, what am I trying to say? It's okay. If you keep trying to look like, okay, you keep going to McDonald's. And you know McDonald's, McDonald's goes to get you in there to pay. But then on the flip side of that, what is, when you go into the McDonald's, what is it causing your body? Harm. So, in other words, you keep promoting all these different clothes and um, we're not sure where the, the, um, the makers of the makeup is coming from because, like I said, they have in articles where we're putting on, oh, well, I don't put makeup on. Only thing I probably have put on is eyeliner and a little blush and lip gloss my whole time. Well, I tried makeup one time and I didn't like it. Um, I look nice, but I didn't like it. Um, but I'm saying to your goals, start thinking about your goals and putting it away to your goals. Start thinking about what you want to do and start promoting what, there's nothing wrong with getting clothes or fixing yourself up and looking nice. But I'm saying not the overboard to where you don't have nothing at the end of the week, you know, um, or you out tearing up your body with stuff that you don't know what the man is putting in it. You really don't know what what you're consuming. Um, so that's all I'm just trying to get you to think about the things that you're contributing to. It's, it could be causing your stress. And if you eliminate those things, then you can be kind of be able to breathe. Be able to enjoy, relax, and enjoy your life better, you know. So, yes, that's my uh, tip for today of learning. I was thinking about um, changing my channel name to uh, Healthy Tea because my name uh, starts with the tea. And I love to drink tea to give you the tea, okay? So, um... Yes, I don't know what you guys think about that. I know what I'm going on, but just I'm just so excited, and I just want you guys to get on this exciting um, train as well. Because if you stay negative, the thing the situation could stay negative in your life, and you're not going to be better. So it's just like you're clogging up the, the positive that wants to come forward. So until next time, like comment, subscribe, and be blessed. Mm -hmm.